What's up, Mustang fans? I'm Molly Smith back at Nathan Chappelle Stadium. It's week three and your Blanda High School is gearing up to take on Orange High School. This will be just the second time that these two programs are facing each other. Their first meeting was back in 2019 when YLHS beat the Panthers at home 34 to 27 in double overtime. And then you did talk about going back and forth, how those guys end up do staying strong. So outside of Mason, talk about how all the guys have been able to fight for games all season long. Can you kind of talk about what the importance is of summer ball to get the attention of scouts to get to that next level? YLHS came up with a big victory last week in their season opener against Newport Harbor High School, winning 26 to 14. This young team is proving early that they might have a couple of offensive weapons to watch out for this year, including junior quarterback Ren Beal and senior wide receiver Chase Jones. Last week, Beal finished with 295 passing yards at 60% completion, while Jones recorded 122 yards on five receptions. How do you think them having a successful summer ball season will help their overall game when they return to their respective schools come fall? And last time we took on the Oaks, we fell short five to one. So what are some things that you want the team to really focus on today to, like you said, to avoid those defensive blunders? My name is Molly Smith, and I'm here with Georgia Southern University second baseman, Steve Curry. Steve, you went three for five today with a home run. What was working for you at the play today? Hi everyone, Molly Smith here at Nathan Chappelle Stadium where the Yorba Linda High School varsity football team will be taking on Valencia High in their second game of the season. The team's on a three game win streak. Can you kind of take us through the last couple of games and talk about what the guys have been doing well? I heard there's going to be some new guys being added to the roster, some of which are coming in from Omaha, now have some College World Series experience. What does that mean to have them in our dugout? I got a chance to talk to assistant coach John Aide before the game, and he told me he was not worried about his team whatsoever heading into this matchup. He said his defense is aggressive and prepared, and even though this is a young offense, they just click, and they proved last week that they can make big plays. Fast forward to today's game, uh, we are playing the now 26 and 3 Santa Barbara Foresters, and OC Reptai is actually responsible for one of those three losses, so that's a good start. But talk about your overall expectations for the game today. Some very exciting things happened this week. Uh, we just received word yesterday that we have secured a spot in the 2018 CCL playoffs. How's it feel? Okay, now let's talk defense because your Belinda's middle linebacker, Wyatt Mosier, has been a beast. Last season, when he was just a sophomore, he finished the year with a team high of 58 total tackles. And I remind you, their 2020 season was only six games long. And he's looking like he might even be on his way to beating that this season. Mosier recorded 25 total tackles in just the first two games alone. What do you think it is about this team in particular that just sets them apart from all the others? You guys won against the Bucks on Saturday. You guys won 17 to four. Can you talk about what the strategy will be tonight to hopefully come out on top with another big victory? This is also the team's first week back to school. So I asked coach John Doman if any adjustments needed to be made this week. And he told me, no, nothing changes. Sometimes it's a little bit of a distraction with the excitement of school being back, but we have a set routine and the guys know that they still need to show up to practice and be ready to work. I noticed you guys did stick around for a little bit after the game talking. What was the, the coaching staff's message to the team during that post-game huddle? Thank you very much. Congrats on a great season. All right, that's a wrap for our final pre-game report. We would like to thank all of our fans for all their support and encouragement this season. And as always, be sure to come right back here at 4.30 for the first pitch. I'm Molly Smith, and I'll catch you on the flip side.